My name is Ben, and I'm, <laughs> I'm graduating from Penn. I will join a nonprofit called International Development Enterprises in Cambodia, where we work with farmers to facilitate entrepreneurship in rural areas. Today, I'm going to talk about how God has been faithfully pursuing me. Growing up in a culturally Buddhist family, I was very skeptical, seeing all religions simply as traditions. That attitude stayed with me for most of my life until the end of high school. However, inside me, there was this burning desire to study philosophy and the liberal arts in college. That was why I decided to go to Boston College, a Catholic Jesuit school. My two years at Boston College were what I wanted. I got to contemplate the meaning of life by reading the so-called great books of the Western world. However, the more I contemplated, the more I could not find a satisfactory answer to the question, what's the meaning of life? My epiphany occurred during the fall semester of my sophomore year during a Catholic retreat called Kairos. At that retreat, I realized that God's love is like the sun. It is always there, even though I may not always see it. After I transferred to Penn, God continued to pursue me. He met me at moments such as Easter 2012, when I suddenly felt a strong desire to know God. Following Easter, I would voraciously, ranging from books such as The Case of Christ through websites such as ChristiansAnswer.net. Perhaps I was just trying to procrastinate from schoolwork. <laughs> but right after Easter 2012, I was growing rapidly. I realized that God was the answer to my initial question, what's the meaning of life? Accomplishments that were giving me meaning were temporary, and I accepted that I would never be completely fulfilled apart from the eternal God. Since then, I'm still growing, though the pace varies at different times in my life. I still have lots of questions, but as I am at the end of my college career, I realize that I am able to ask these questions because it was God who has planted them there in the first place. St. Augustine states that our heart is restless until it rests in God. In my case, I am so thankful that God has made my heart restless and used my restlessness to get me to Him. I also want to express my gratitude to the GCC community who has been fighting a good fight with me. As we part ways, my favorite quote from the Brothers Karamasa by Dostoevsky captures the sentiment perfectly. <laughs> my dearest of friends, we'll be parting soon. And even though we may be involved in the most important affairs, actually distinction or fall into some great misfortune. All the same, let us never forget how good we once felt here, all together, united by such good and kind feelings and made us perhaps better than we really are. You have made me perhaps better than I really am during my time here at GCC, and for that I'm always grateful. Thank you.